Alright folks, what we have here is a solo bore. Nothing very special, nothing big. We don't have 60, 80, 100 hogs here. Uh, but what's cool about this pig right here is he was taken with a new caliber. Alright, and uh, a lot of folks have been asking about this caliber. The 6 arc. And I'm 100% positive I'm the first person to kill a pig with the six millimeter arc, okay? Uh, Hornady ammunition, Santan set with the proof 18 inch barrel. We have it right over here. We got the ammunition. Uh, we're gonna get a close detailed shot for you guys so you can see it. Uh, but I came out here last night with my buddy Joey from Thermal Outfitters. We saw, we saw multiple groups of pigs. Uh, but one of the biggest issues that I had was magazine capacity. Uh, we all know right now times are crazy. Uh, a lot of people don't want to accept it and try to understand what's going on. Uh, but the gun industry, when it comes to ammunition all the way to optics, uh, the, the, the pipeline is, is, is jammed up. The pipeline is jammed up with supply and demand issues, okay? So getting magazines, getting ammunition, these types of things are going to be extremely frustrating right now, especially on something new like this, all right? Um, this is a 105 grain Hornady Black uh, hollow points, uh, hollow point bolt tail. And uh, again, I'll get over to this rig to show you guys what I'm running. Uh, I was running the Dead Air uh, Nomad Titanium. Uh, I worked out extremely well with this. I will shoot a few rounds, just a few rounds, uh, so you guys could actually hear this. Uh, my buddy Joey couldn't believe it. He, he, he could not believe how quiet this was. Um, I had some people I asked numerous questions over on IG about what I thought about the ammunition and uh, you know what you see on on paper, what you see with chronos, uh, what you see with gel test. It's really hard to give back, give feedback on on those types of numbers. You have to actually get out and put an animal down and, and see what's going on with this ammunition and the caliber. Um, I don't know what the price point's gonna be uh, on, on the rifle. I think the rifle's just gonna be priced around 2800. Don't mark me on that, but I think the rifle's gonna be around 2800. I do not know the price of the ammunition right now. It's that new. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm assuming it's gonna be uh, somewhere around 20 to $25 a box. Uh, but, I, I do like what I'm seeing, okay? Uh, we did some chronographs. Uh, my buddy Brett, uh, he was averaging 2678. 2678, uh, and this was with three different types of ammunition from Hornady, okay? Um, and he, he was able to average 2678 out of those. Um, very accurate. I mean, we we're getting sub MOA at 100 yards, no problem. Uh, but what really impressed me was what we were doing at steel at 600 yards. 600 yards was the furthest we can go uh, uh, hitting steel. We know what this thing can do past 600 yards as far as the numbers, uh, but 600 was the furthest that we can go. And we were actually shooting at night with PDS-30. Uh, but when I went down to go check the steel, the steel had a lot of damage. It was, it, there was some good penetration on that AR-500 steel. Stuff that I see with 223 at like 150, 200 yards. And I was seeing the same type of damage to the steel at 600 yards. So the numbers, the numbers are backing up what I'm seeing in the field, okay? Uh, but anyways, last night we came out here, we saw multiple pigs. I'm 100% positive we killed 13 to 14 pigs. My buddy Joey put down three coyotes and a bobcat. And we also uh, hit a few piglets. But unfortunately, with a 10-round mag, I was forced to see a few of them run off. Uh, it's just the nature of the beast right now, and I was really frustrated about that. So we got to get a higher cap mag. Uh, it, it uses a 6.5 Grindle mag. I will get a little bit closer over here and show you, but it does use a 6.5 Grindle mag. I'm using a 10 rounder. Uh, the pigs, it's, from what I'm seeing, one shot, one kill. It, you know, all about that shot placement. Uh, we did a lot of head, we did a few neck, I did a few shoulders. And they were going down. They, they were going down. Uh, Joey was running the CMMG Mutant. Uh, no, I'm sorry. CMMG Banshee in 762 by 39. And he was doing just as good. Uh, 
I like it. I like the feel. Uh, the rifle with the 18 inch uh, with the 18 inch barrel, no suppressor, no ammo, no optic, was right at 7.1 ounces. Seven pounds, one ounce. Okay, that's exactly what it weighed with an 18 inch barrel. Enough of my talking. Uh, I, I just wanted to share this information with you guys and share this content with you. I'm very excited about it. Uh, not everybody gets an opportunity to uh, run ammunition and a rifle on, on, on a pig for the first time, you know. I'm stoked about it. Uh, but let's zoom in over here. It's getting crazy hot out here again. Uh, we're hitting triple digits, but I'm not a weatherman. I'm just tired of it. <laughs> Six millimeter arc, 105 grain, boat tail hollow point from Hornady Black. All right, Hornady, Hornady Black ammunition. And here is the rig. You can see that proof barrel hidden up in there. Got a little damage here to the rail. Got it on both sides, unfortunately. CMC trigger. Got the Santan bolt carry group, Santan rail, Santan upper and lower receiver. Got the Halo LR50 there from Ultimate Night Vision. This rig is extremely uh, pleasant to shoot. It's just really good to shoot. Uh, lightweight. Like I said, it's right around seven pounds without optics, ammunition, and suppressor. I think the ammunition did just fine. We killed most, multiple pigs last night. That's why that's all blood all over him right now, but you can still see the blood coming out of his ears. He went down. He dropped like a rock. Good sized boar, though. I mean, this is back of a Polaris right now. He's good sized boar. Six art getting the job done. How many do you think we killed last night, Joey? Uh, 13. 13? At, At least 13. All right. 13, three coyotes, one bobcat, a few piglets, and a few others that we lost <laughs> out of the back of the buggy. Some of them fell out. Good times. Good times. Beautiful out here, too. You guys, to actually hear this suppressor, this is the Nomad TI with the six arc. And I'm out here in an open pasture, away from the trees, away from water. Hopefully, it sounds pretty good. I promise you guys, when I get more ammunition and better mags, we're going to get some more content on this six arc. Um, you know, closing thoughts. Is it going to be a go-to round for hog hunting? Is it going to be great for hunting in general? I, I will be honest with you. Uh, as far as pig hunting, it's going to get the job done. But unfortunately, it's not going to do it at a good price, if that makes any sense. It's going to be expensive. So, if you're hunting a handful of times, uh, as far as pigs... I can see it being okay if you're a deer hunter, elk hunter, uh, any type of hunting, to be honest with you, that you only do a handful of times, I think you're going to be just fine. But if you're going to be out dumping mags on the weekends, I just don't see this being an option. But it is super sweet. It's super sweet. You got a six millimeter projectile on an AR-15 platform, super lightweight. Uh, I think the sweet spot, I mean, the, the, the perfect barrel for this thing is what, what, this is what I was told, is 24 inches. Um, 18 is when I'm running, and I'm seeing some pretty good performance out of that. I think anything less than that is like the 6.5 Creedmoor. You're not going to have the velocity, and you might lose a little accuracy. Uh, but I, I'm liking it. I really do like it. It's not going anywhere. It's a keeper. We just got to find more ammunition and more mags. I will keep you guys posted. If you guys like what you see, please hit the like button. Get those subs going. Get the notifications going. And I will see you guys in the next video.